Hi loves, hope you guys are doing great. You know who it is. It sure you guys are doing great. First of all, I want to say, uh, this lighting probably sucks in this video. It's been real gloomy out here. So I'm using these lighting and I don't like how they look. But anyway, so before we get in the video, of course you guys know I have to send all my love out to my love. Thank you guys so much for always supporting my channel too. And thanks to all my new subbies who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, which way now? The button's like, wait, let me think. Like here? Yeah, it should be here. To the main subject of this video. So, I'm getting ready to go to the nail shop, y'all. Y'all know me. Look at this. This is not me. I soaked my nails off last night. I have to get them done. Y'all know I am a nap fanatic just like a makeup junkie okay i am a nail fanatic so i'm gonna go ahead and do a first impression slash re full review on this makeup okay so i'm getting ready i already did my eyes as you guys can see i did my eyebrows um i haven't primed my face yet uh, three products you guys now i heard a lot of people rave that uh wet and wild did not have um darker the darker shades of foundation in the store and i was getting mad too y'all i wasn't even worried about getting it and my lovely subbies did say that she wanted me to do a review on the new wet and wild focus foundation and after hearing everybody saying like oh you can't get it in the store you only had to get online i was like that's not fair that is not fair <laughs> so i'm gonna be like forget that but i did see a youtuber state that she found darker shades and i was like and also, I see um, my girl Kiki. I follow her Snapchat, you guys. Hey, Kiki, you see this video? Uh, she uh, she was on Snapchat and she found it. And I was like, wait a minute, let me check a Walgreens in the area. You know where you gotta go with Walgreens. You can't, every Walgreens don't carry darker skin tones, y'all. So I went to that Walgreens and they had it. So I got Mocha, okay. And this is what the bottle looks like. Wet and Wild Foundation and Mocha. And I think they have like two or three more dark, darker shades. At, uh, I can't talk. Two or three more darker shades after this. Then I also got the concealer. I got the concealer in medium deep tan. And I think it's light, y'all. I probably should have got deep. Time my highlight. This look yellow. But in the store, they look this yellow. I'm scared. Okay. And then I got the pressed powder in cocoa. Okay, so I think the foundation is five ninety nine for sure. Everything was eighteen bucks. So I think the concealer is five, and the this is six. The pop? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But anyways, I'm rushing because I gotta get my makeup done and get to. I got appointment for one, so I gotta get this full face. And I am gonna come back to let you guys know what I think about it. You know, in a couple of hours, I might even take a picture. You know when I'm out and about or whatever so I need to prime my face and I like this primer this is a hard candy long wear primer 12 hour wear so I'm gonna prime my face mocha if you guys don't know this is supposed to be a good foundation for flashback it doesn't really say like I don't know if it said on the on the website like if it's full coverage medium but seeing a lot of reviews it looks like it's medium to full and buildable um, it's supposed to be good for like flashback and they tested it in so many different kind of lighting conditions. So yeah, it doesn't say like long wear or dewy finish or anything on here. So this is how it looks on the top you guys, which is kind of good. You can just kind of put it on your face. I'm going to use a beauty blender, my dirty beauty blender. I'm talking about me y'all. My real technique <laughs> and put it on my face. It looks orange. Oh, I don't know y'all. This actually looks like the color of almost all women of color. I'm gonna do one side of my face. Foundation in the drugstore. They always make it a orange undertone. I am more of a cool undertone. I have people think like, wait, how you chocolate and you yellow? It's possible. When it's out y'all, we gonna make it work, okay? Jumping like a disco. Hey. I be popping masks like some Frisco. All you gotta say is miss it go. But when you say no, I'm gonna be slow. No. This is one side. 
you guys. So this is one side. It's really good coverage. I can say that. It is good coverage. You guys can see. And now you do see it's very, it has a very orange <laughs> undertone. And I don't understand why they do these foundations like that. Like they need to understand that we all don't have orange undertones. Um, but the coverage is good and hopefully it balanced out after I put the concealer on and highlight. And I do like the coverage. You guys can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side. I decided to go swing it in my direction. I'll be out of control. Let's take it to perfect. I let it oxidize, and to me, it does oxidize deeper than the shade that it shows. But other than that, the coverage is really good, you guys. Like it looks airbrushed. Like it looks like some really good coverage. And this is only one coat. Um yeah they did a great job the, it does have a smell though it smells like clay <laughs> it just smells like like clay like it has a scent but you only smell it you know once you're blending it out but now i don't smell it so that's a good thing so yeah it's very orange y'all and it's kind of really messing with me that's okay we're gonna go ahead and highlight maybe it can balance it out um it comes in this little cute little package and again, it just says that it's tested under seven different lighting conditions. So um, it doesn't say if it's full, if it you know, does increase or anything. I don't know for sure what it says on the website, but if it does say something, I'll stick it in here. So I got um, medium tan deep, which I think is gonna be too light. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. Hopefully that balances out the orange in this foundation. So really thought I was recording and I wasn't I need to stop that cuz I'll be pausing <laughs> when like I don't I don't want the camera just rolling so yeah but I finished my face um I used the powder I was showing all that y'all I used the powder I used the concealer everything it, it really looks good it looks like airbrush to me and I did set my face with the wet and wild Photo focus setting spray, which been out, so. So we're just gonna finish, I'll be back, y'all. So you guys, my face is completely done. I'm really mad at myself that I was not recording the whole time. But I can say, based on how my face is looking, I am loving this finish. And I really hope this camera is getting the true, cause I don't have good lighting today, y'all, I don't. So I'm trying to use um, artificial lighting and it's cloudy out here so that's not working but hopefully you guys can still get a good look at how fresh like on my end it looks like airbrush it's not cakey I really do like the way the finish of it is so we're gonna go out through my day um to see how Okay, anyways, y'all, we're gonna see how it goes on throughout the day. 
Um, if I get oily, because I am combination, I get oily right up in my nose, T-zone. Sometimes on my forehead, forehead too. Um, but yeah. So I guess what I do is like come back um, in a couple of hours, because I have to get ready to go. Let's see. It is now 11.50. Hey, you guys, so we're gonna go on with my day. We're gonna see how when and wow for the focus holds up. Let's go. Okay, so this is a quick update video. It is, oh, I'm so blind. <laughs> it's been an hour and a half since I had it on, so it's like one o'clock. Um, almost at the nail shop, coming to pick my friend up. But it looks really good. So it's still looking good. I'm gonna come in and out periodically. Did I say that right? Anyway, <laughs> uh, and I'm looking at myself. Here she come, y'all. Here she come. Here she come. I'm gonna get on the video, y'all. She gonna be like, "Why are you doing it?" <laughs> See, that's my friend, y'all. You gonna be on the video? She gonna be on the video? She don't even know. Okay, guys, I got the little dentures for my glasses, but that's why it looks like that. It is now 4.08, and I've been having the foundation on since 11.30, so what's that, 12.30, 1.32? Been about four hours? Yeah, no, longer than that, right? Yeah, it's gonna be five hours at 4.30, and this is what this foundation looking like. It has it broke up. I do see that, but like I said, that's for my glasses, so that's normal for me. But other than that, this foundation in consider looks okay, really so good. I am back in to show you guys how the foundation has been holding up. And it is dark, so I'm hoping this artificial light will help you guys see how the foundation is holding up. So, let's see. I didn't try to do the test thing uh, with the picture, but let me go ahead and do that now. So yeah, I mean, I don't see a flashback or nothing at all on this picture, so I don't know. But, this has been, it's 6.30. I put this makeup on at, I put this makeup on at 11.30ish, you wanna say, when I first started putting on my foundation. So, just seven hours of wear would usually be what I would wear my makeup like seven to nine hours, you know, especially on a weekend if you're going all day. So this is my face after seven hours of wear. No touch-ups, no blinding, no powder, no nothing. Um, I don't see no breakdown. Like It looks just as good as it looked when I first left and I'm looking at my the concealer um yeah everything still look good like I do see in here I have some breakdown up in here around here but I do wear glasses so if you wear glasses like I do wherever you your glasses sit it always seems to move your makeup it doesn't matter so that could just be from, it's from where me wearing glasses, I know that. Um, but everything else looks good. Like, you look like it oily right up in here. It's not really any, it's nothing on my face. It almost like it absorbs your oil on your face. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, go ahead and thumbs it up for your girl. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, you guys, if you enjoy videos of me doing reviews, you know, just coming in periodically, hope I'm saying that word right, <laughs> throughout the day to let you guys know, you know, what I feel about the foundation. Also, throw it up. Throw it up with the thumbs. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do recommend this foundation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, loves. Have a great one.